Hi there, and welcome to another scrapbooking process video. Today I'm going to be scrapbooking these three photos. And pardon my voice today, I am recovering from a cold. Uh, my voice sounds a little bad, but uh, I feel okay. So <laughs> I went ahead and scrapbooked today. I have the January kit from the Hip Kit Club here. And oh, as soon as I saw that rainbow ombre paper, I had to use it. And uh, so I'm, I'm just picking out some of my favorite papers from this kit and at first I, I, I spent a bit of time here trying to figure out how to make this paper work as a background and I would I would really like to use this as a background but not with these three photos I just don't think it's going to work for what I had in, in mind for this page but I'm gonna try it in a couple of different orientations here I had my heart set on having these photos look like this, like kind of have the two on the outside be down a little bit and overlapping the one in the center. And uh, this is a photo of, or a series of photos of my daughter at the nail salon. And I'll tell you a little bit more about the photo when I go to do the journaling. So I decided to use that Vicky Booten paper as a background, but I'm going to change my mind on it because it's too distressed compared to the other papers that I'm using. I picked this purple paper out of my stash just to use as a template. I want to hand cut and hand draw a heart. And I'm just uh, looking for my pencil there. And so as you can see, I really drew a very, very rough heart. I didn't really need to draw it. I, I, I ended up cutting it completely different than how I drew it. Uh, but basically, I wanted it to be a really, really wide heart because I want all three of these photos to fit on the heart. So the heart will be the main design of my page and I want it to be a pretty wonky heart. I did fold the, the template in half so that it could be a pretty symmetrical uh, shape but um, but yeah it, it doesn't have to be perfect. Now I am finding as I erase the pencil lines that it it did smudge off some of the coloring coloration on that paper and so uh, you do want to be careful about erasing on certain papers, especially the, uh, the, the exclusive papers. So um, I'm here and I decided to, to change my background. And the reason I decided to do that was that I, I thought that the bold heart-shaped pattern would stand up to a much more bold background. And so that's why I went with that really bold black or blue and white polka dot background paper. And then you saw me take their, one of the uh, designer papers that were also exclusive to the kit um, had that same ombre rainbow effect on the designer strip. And so I just uh, cut that off and cut it in half. So I'd have a strip for the top and a strip for the bottom. These are the thickers that come in the kit, one of two sets of thickers that come in the kit, and it's I think it's called Rose. And I really love these thickers. And so I just spelled out Nailed It. Thought that that made a fun title for getting your nails done. And huh, how am I going to place this? So I'm just kind of trying to figure out how I, how I want this title to be placed. I really would rather have it be stacked, like Nailed and then It underneath. Uh, but I'm going to play around with a couple of different ideas here. And I can't quite think of what I want to do. So this is what I'm going, like what I'm leaning towards is putting nailed it right there. And then I'll put something, some type of embellishment or something over to the left of the N and the I in that title. I'm going through the die cuts that came in the kit. These are from Crate Paper and they're Valentine themed. So there's all kinds of hearts. So I decided to pick out a whole bunch of hearts. I also grabbed a pineapple because I like pineapples um, and a couple of other things. A little banner that says ooh la la. I love that yellow paper with the ferns on it. So I'm thinking about maybe incorporating that into the page and there I have that rainbow strip that I cut in half and I'm just putting it at the top and the bottom. I haven't cut the manufacturer strip off yet, but uh, that will come eventually. So here's that yellow paper. I love this paper. It is another one of the exclusives from the kit. I'm just going to cut a rectangular strip of it and place it so that it goes off the page like this and it just runs behind my 
my uh, my heart. And I'm doing that because the heart doesn't have any of the yellow that is in the rainbow strip above and below. So that pulls some yellow into this page. And here I'm playing around with a little bit. So I would like the, the llama to be on this page. And I'm thinking I would actually like the llama to be up beside the photos instead of beside the title. But in order to do that and have the llama be looking in, I would have to move that heart so that it's all aligned over to the left instead of aligned over to the right. And I like it aligned over to the right because it makes the main part of the heart that's sticking out into the blue paper, the blue background paper, the red side is like the red and pink side is see now I've got the blue side and it's not quite as much contrast like the blue side is sticking out into the blue paper that doesn't give me the look that I'm looking for I, I really like the look of that heart floating out into the blue and white background paper with that hot pink side of the heart sticking out into the blue pattern paper. So I'm going to keep this aligned over here on on the right hand side. And that way I will I will still use the llama, but I'm going to use it beside my title instead of beside my photos. And so I do need something to fill in the gap. You see that between that that yellow pattern paper that I cut the strip of and the heart, there's a little gap of blue pattern paper background showing. And so that's why I'm putting the hearts right now. There's a glitter heart that's filling most of that gap. I'm going to put a whole bunch of hearts over here to fill up that gap. And you can see as I'm positioning them right now that it's not completely there. Now it's completely covered. And I'm going to move around the way that I that I lay out those hearts a couple of different times before I I land on what it, it's going to actually look like. But uh, basically, my idea is that I'll fill that whole side up with hearts so that that gap won't show at all. And then my llama will be over here by my title. And I just felt like the llama looked a little plain. It needed something to anchor it onto the page. And so... I have this this little kind of oval with a scalloped edge on it. It has a little a, a little phrase or something. I think there's a dog and a phrase on the center of it. But I, I think that it does give the llama a, a decent home. But I'm thinking about maybe using a doily or something else there instead. But I'm just leaving it there to remind myself to put something under that. And now I have my my template cutting paper again. <laughs> and so I'm just cutting another heart. And I do have a punch. I could have punched a heart, but I decided to hand cut another wonky heart here. And I wanted it to be approximately the same size as that oval. So that's why I was putting the oval next to it as I cut it out, just to just to have a sense of, you know, how big it needed to be. And now I'm just tracing that template. It's not a very nice heart but it's it's okay it's going to be mostly covered so it doesn't it doesn't have to be perfect and I cut it pretty jaggedy and I, so now I'm just erasing my pencil lines and that's nice it gives it gives my llama a place to live for now I'm leaving that oval behind it as well but I think that's a little bit too much layers and then I thought well maybe I'll put a like a, a little doily I have these doodlebug designs doilies I bought a whole bunch of them when I was at Crop and Create last year. Oh, pardon me. And so uh, I think that the blue one looks the best. It provides a little bit of contrast and it brings some of the blue that is otherwise only up in that top right hand corner, right behind the gold glittered heart uh, and brings it down to, to this part of the layout. So now I'm going to add some stitching to some of these hearts, but not all of them. And so I have my little half size sewing machine out. This one is a Kenmore, but I also have a Genome New Home mini sewing machine. And it's exactly the same machine. It's just a little bit updated, but uh, I, the, the, the Kenmore half size is the same as the Genome Sew Mini, which is just the earlier version of the Genome New Home. And I'm using black thread here and I'm going to go around it twice just to give it more of a doodly casual look. I, I went off the page a couple times. I was purposely going kind of fast so that it wouldn't be perfect. And I'm just making my lines so that they don't line up perfectly so that it has that doodly outlined look, but with thread instead of with a marker. I often doodle, doodle and outline with markers. 
but this gives me extra texture and going over it twice really gives it a lot of presence on the page really makes it stand out from the other things on the page. And now this is the heart that will be the anchor for my llama. So I'm going to outline that as well. And I think I double outline this one as well with stitching. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So there we go. And you do have to go a little bit slower when you're sewing around something that's small and curved at the same time. This sewing machine is a very basic sewing machine. It doesn't have different speeds. It's basically when you press the, the pedal, it's either going or not going. There's no, like with a, with a full size machine, if you press a little bit, it goes slowly. And then if you press all the way down, it goes faster. Um, but with this one, it's just one speed. So you do have to, to be a little bit more careful going around corners on smaller shapes with this one. So I decided not to outline this last one with sewing just because I actually ran out of, of bobbin thread and I didn't want to sp spool another, another bobbin. So I just, I just decided, uh, those two were enough or three. So when I trimmed this little piece of rainbow paper off the edge of another piece of paper, I left a little sliver, so I had to cut that off. And now I'm just going to trim off the manufacturer's strip here. This is one of the exclusive papers that came in the kit, as is the one that I cut the heart shape out of. I'm using some Tombow Mono Multi to stick these strips down. I don't usually use that, but I just used a tiny little bit so that it didn't ooze out or anything. And a little bit of it did ooze out. That's why I don't usually use that. And here I am, I'm just kind of um, <laughs> trying to get rid of some of the glue gobs and then it was peeling the, the ink off the page. So I decided to just stop and leave it. Now I'm using this paper, uh, this extra piece of paper to help me line up. What I'm doing here is I'm trying to line up that yellow piece with my grid map below, but because it doesn't go all the way across the page, and you can see when I pull it up there, it's pulling up some of the ink. And there, I'm just checking it with that other paper just to make sure that it is um, straight. There we go. It looks straight enough to me. And now I'm going to add some outlining to these little rainbow strips on the top and on the bottom. Double outlines to make it look messy and casual. I thought about outlining this paper, but I'm not going to. I don't want to outline every single thing on this page, so I have to be careful that I don't end up with only one thing not outlined. So I'm going to leave that paper. And I just used my ruler there to make sure that the inner tip of the heart and the outer point of the heart uh, were both lined up, kind of like matching up with the same line on my grid map, basically, is, is how I did that. And now I'm just using my fingernails to pull up the edges of this heart to give it a little bit of extra texture and dimension on the page. And I'll do that all the way around the heart. I really like that look. And now I just have to grab my picture so that I, that I took before I disassembled everything so that I can remember how I want this to go back together again. So these photos tell a story. The first are her getting the acrylic nails put onto her fingernails and they're like the big, huge, long ones and then he files them down. The second one is her getting them airbrushed, like kind of, she has, like they go ombre from pink to white. And then the third one is her at home with the nails all done. The nails are quite fancy in my opinion. Um, they, they look really, really great. Um, and she really wanted them done. A friend of hers got them done. And uh, I think all of the girls are wanting their nails done now. Once one of them does it, then they all do. Uh, but uh, we can't afford to have her get her nails done. All the I don't get my nails done. So <laughs> we're not paying for her to get her nails done. And so uh, we made her save up her own money to get it done herself. And it was quite expensive. It's not cheap to get those nails done. But they, they last for three weeks. And then she can go in and either, like, I think I can take them off. I think there's a solution you can get to take them off at home. Um, but she's thinking that she might pay one more time to get them filled in once. And then... And then take them off, I think. 
So I'm just uh, taking my taking my letters off of the wax paper, and then I decided that that the title wasn't standing up quite strong enough to the other elements on the layout, like it was getting a little bit lost. And I know that this layout is going to be a little bit cluttered with all of the hearts and embellishments and stuff that will come close to this title. So I've decided to outline the letters and because they're shiny, I'm just using a slick surface marker. So I'm using my Stettler Lumo Color Pen, which is my favorite slick surface pen. It's not the only one out there. You could also use a Slick Writer by American Crafts. I don't like those very much. They tend to dry up. Um, or you could use uh, a Sharpie marker. Not a Sharpie pen, but a Sharpie marker. So that now that my title has been removed from the wax paper and put onto the layout, now I can place this ooh la la. I want the ooh la la so that it uh, kind of accents this photo at where her nails are extremely long because they haven't been filed down yet. Uh, and I want it to not cover up her hands because it's a whole purpose of this photo. And I just wanted it to kind of layer so that it's underneath the top corner of that heart with the llama and then layering that little smiley face white heart on top of it. And I think I'm going to put this one, this one with the, with the tassel on it. I'm going to put it over by the llama. I'm going to play around with where it goes, but eventually it's going to go over by the llama. There you go. I, I like it right there. I'm going to outline it first. And that looks nice. I, I feel like there's a little bit too much white over there. So because the llama's white and then the ooh la la is white and then I've got that white heart over there and I felt like I needed a few more hearts but there weren't any more in the die cut set. I had already picked out all of the hearts. So I just grabbed a couple of heart punches. This is the Stampin' Up! Full Heart is the one that I just punched there. I just punched it out of a piece of the uh, pattern paper. And then this beautiful glitter paper came in the paper add-on from the Hip Kit Club this month. And I really love this paper. It has these these red glitter hearts all over it. And so I've decided to put that one down there. And I'll put this one over here. There's already plenty of hearts over on the other side. So I like those right there. And it just kind of balances off. Remember I was just saying that there was so much white over here. I needed some non-white things over there. So hearts are, are a good thing. I'll outline one of them. Because again, I don't want everything to be outlined. I'm going to outline it in a bolder tip. This is my Zig Writer, which is a, it's a 0.7. No, it's a 1.2 actually tip. And so I, I like how these hearts are layering right now. I forgot to, to actually glue down the ooh la la. So I just took it off, put some adhesive and repositioned it. And now I'm going to pop this one up just to give it a little bit of interest from the other ones. This is one of my favorites. I love the smiley little heart face. It looks so happy. And I thought about outlining this one. I, I would like it outlined because I feel like it doesn't really pop out enough from the background paper. But on the, on the same note, I also don't want to outline everything. So I'm, I went with not outlining it. I think it would probably look better outlined, but I decide not to. So I'm just layering these ones so that they fill in the gap between the papers that overlap over there and then I'll make this one so that it's dropped down a little bit from those so it's not overlapped with that other grouping of, of hearts but this little one will overlap with the bigger one like that. I like how that looks. It's it's a busy one. I, I'll give it that, uh, but but I'm liking it. It's fun. Now I wanted. Remember, I was saying there was too much white over there with the llama and the two white hearts. So I wanted to do some watercoloring on that white heart, but I didn't want to pull out my watercolors. So I grabbed a mermaid marker and put a little bit of water on an acrylic block, and just uh, made myself a watercolor out of that. And as you can see, it makes a, a really easy way to color in something. I didn't want to color it in with the full with the full ink from the mermaid marker or it would be way too strong. So I just added the water. And now these foam thicker accents from the kit, uh, they're from a step, separate sticker set in the kit. They're going to add quite a bit of uh, interest to this page and quite a bit of impact. I like... I like adding these black foam details to pages. I thought about uh, punching out some large 
black hearts to kind of layer in amongst the hearts that I already had. But I felt like that would change the feeling of this page a little bit too much. Like I, I basically I thought about matting some of my hearts with black and just giving the whole the whole like I felt like it needed more impact. And that's why I added all those little foam pieces. I added two little cacti just just because I just liked them so much. They kind of cap off the two sides quite nicely. It just, I just felt like there were there were too many hearts. It, I needed something that wasn't a heart. And then I had to add more hearts. <laughs> So those are puffy sticker hearts that I'm just adding every here and there. And I chose yellow because I wanted to pull some yellow up on the page. Like I, I wanted more yellow. Right now, the, the without those, the only yellow is that back strip that runs the length of the layout, like horizontally. And so I wanted to pull something up into the layers uh, that was yellow. So again, remember I just mentioned a few minutes ago that it didn't have the boldness that I wanted it to have. So I'm using that Zig Writer again, and I'm just going around the photos to give them a little bit more emphasis. I'm actually gonna pull these off and outline behind them. Even though you don't really see all that much of it, I still, I still like the look enough that I'm going to just pull them all up and outline right underneath of them. And they're stuck to the letter, so I can just do that. Except the N and the A was not stuck to the to the photo. Did I say stuck to the letter? They're stuck to the photo. So I like how that looks. And then I just thought it needed, like I said, it needed something a little bit more bold. So I just added that 1.2 marker outline all the way around the outside edge of that heart as well. So it has the already the bold sewing around it, but that just adds to it. I'll read you my journaling. It says, Liv saved up her own money to pay for acrylic nails, which she wanted for the school dance. So fancy. And then I just outlined it. And then there was a little funny gap in my in my journaling. So I added a little sticker there to fill it in. And I had to use some Tombow Mono Multi to just to hold these down because they weren't sticking. I find that those stickers stick really well to photos, but not so well to paper. So I just stuck them down. The exclamation point seems to be sticking so far, but I'll check it before I put it in my album. Another foam dot under the head of the llama, just to pop it up off the photo a little bit. And I thought about adding some of these epoxy stickers that came in the kit, but I decided not to. They weren't, they were too businessy. Like they were too, I don't know, office or, or stationary looking. I want, they, they, everything else on the page is fairly whimsical. So I didn't want to use those. These two tassel bows, I think are perfect. They're just such nice little touches. And I just put one beside each of the cacti so that, again, I just something that isn't a heart that's on the page. Just for a little bit of interest. And of course, they add so much beautiful texture. And they're really, really soft. So there we go. I think I'm done. And I'm going to show you the close-ups. But I'm actually not done. <laughs> So there's how it looks so far. And what I'm what bugs me about this is that the llama is kind of like floating off a little bit. It looks like he's just kind of floating on that doily. There's too much space below the below the llama. And I don't know. I just felt like it needed a little something else around the llama's legs or feet or under the llama. But I didn't want it to look like I was like I didn't want to give the llama something to stand on necessarily. So I grabbed the stickers that came in the Project Life kit this month. And one of them is this really nice neutral and soft gray label. It says, it was a good day. And so I decided to put that and I put it at a bit of an angle. It's actually, I wanted it angled with the same angle as the, as the title. So it's lined up mostly with the angle that nailed it is spelled out on. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. My voice seems to be getting worse. I'm more and more stuffed up as I go. So I used some pink pigment ink from Mama Elephant and stamped out the date of the, the date that we went to the nail salon. And Liv actually booked it herself. She looked online. She did research. I made her look at reviews so that we went to a reputable place that had good ratings, not necessarily the cheapest place. And uh, I'm going to put that in a little insert that goes along with this page because I think that's an important part of the story is that Liv was pretty responsible about it because there was another nail place that was closer and less expensive. But Liv decided for herself that after reading the reviews that she didn't want to go to that place. 
place. So I thought that was pretty good of her. I would have made her not go to that place anyways. So here are the close-ups. And when I make that insert, I'll show it to you. I'll just put a little, uh, like probably on a little four by six card um, and put a little insert page protector or something. So here's how it looks. This one is, you know, this one is going to stand out in my album because it looks quite a bit different than my other pages. I wanted to give a really special thanks to everybody who watches my videos, including the following Diamond Tiaras who support me over on Patreon, on Patreon. So thank you so much to them. But also a really big thanks to everybody who's watching me on YouTube. If you've watched this far and are, are kind of hearing me say this at the very end, I really, really appreciate you sticking around to the end and watching my videos and supporting me here on YouTube. It really makes a big difference uh, to be supported by you guys and to be able to make a little bit of income from these videos. It helps me be able to set aside the time so I can keep on making these videos for you guys. So if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. And if you need to catch up on any of my videos, they're linked here on this end screen. Thanks so much for watching and have a really great scrappy week. Mm -hmm.